Thank you very much, uh, Yossi. It is uh, very important to hear from people who are really doing the work. Some of them less than 30 years, some of them more, but uh, there are many changes, and uh, that's what we are going to do today. Lior is here, Jennifer? No. Okay. So the last. Lior Ateret. Okay. Uh, Where is he? Ah, so well, it's not easy for me to pronounce your name. Please uh, excuse me, although I'm coming from a Polish background. So, uh, Mr. Alexandrovich, you're most welcome to the panel. I unfortunately cannot uh, uh, present you because I don't have it, but I'm sure that you will do it correctly, so please excuse me. So, good afternoon. My name is Tom Alexandrovich. I'm from the Israeli National Cyber Directorate. My role is electricity guidance. It's a great pleasure for me to stand here today for the first time and to welcome you to Cyber Week 2018. The government of Israel has decided to concentrate all national level cyber security efforts under the responsibility of the Israeli National Cyber Directorate. As cyber threats see no boundaries, we do not see the need of international collaboration as a recommendation but as an obligation. We have a short agenda for today, the Israeli cyber regulation, monitoring supply chain, crisis, and protection. Let me take you to 1953. Operation Upshot was a series of 11 nuclear test shows conducted on Nevada test site. 2008. Attacks on critical infrastructure have increased in numbers, became more sophisticated and more destructive. Regardless of motivation, critical infrastructure hackers are no longer looking for data to steal, they are looking to infiltrate and manipulate production equipment. Cybersecurity weapons are cheap and can be effective, not less than a nuclear bomb. The future. Modernization is increasingly digitalized with unprecedented complexity, like the race to common protocols, like IP. We can see that all generation temperature sensor became a new sensor with compute element. Power system of today is not a smart system of tomorrow. Think smart grids and advanced metering application. More connectivity, more interfaces, becoming potentially more vulnerable. Regulation is a key tool for the advancement of the economy and the society. The importance of regulation is protecting public interests are essential for existence of healthy society. On February 2015, the government of Israel approved the foundation establishment process, missions and roles of the Israeli National Cyber Directorate. Our mission is to direct, regulate, centralize, operate, and manage all cyber defense efforts in the Israeli civilian cyberspace, while maintaining civil rights and securing privacy and proprietary data. The Israeli cyberspace refers to all processes with digital data that belongs to Israeli organizations, entities, companies, and individuals. Critical infrastructures are directed by law. The Israeli approach is proactive assistance. New centralized cyber directorate that defense controls were defined. Based on the understanding that the organization is required to invest efforts beyond traditional, traditional passive defenses. With government cybersecurity units, SOC to CERT collaboration, cybersecurity administrators, and 8% of the IT budget. This is an example of cyber defense strategy in energy and water sector. This concept finds expression in defining prevention, detection, response, and recovery controls. Our intervention strategy, according to risk, nature, and level, we can see that BNC organizations that are important to increase their strength in order to upgrade the general strength of the economy justify the use of soft intervention and closing knowledge gaps. A organizations that have significant potential harm to the public interest 
justify the use of generic binding intervention via a sectoral regulator and the cyber law in the future. Critical infrastructure are directly guided. Such close guidance on the one hand make it possible to detach from the constraints of, of the organization and on the other hand gives objective vision and real help in cyber defense. Our defense methodology is a process combined with three main components, people, products, and processes, the three Ps. The defense methodology defines defensive response to each layer, compatibility to Israeli and international standards. The major part of the Israeli CERT is getting info from the population with intelligence-driven defense and the ability to bring info to the public Recent incidents, particularly in power networks, show that critical infrastructure operations are also targets of sophisticated, well-resourced attack that can easily overcome basic cyber defenses. In example, with proper IDS in place, the attacker is restricted to only mount super steel sea deception attacks and cannot mount direct attacks without risk of detection. In order to explain what an intelligence-driven defense approach is, we need to look on the relation to the cyber kill chain. Intelligence-driven defense plays an effective role in thwarting advanced persistent threats for a next-generation security operations center, with an email analysis on the top and a code comparison on the bottom. We know that consequences of successful cyber attack on critical infrastructure go beyond negative financial impact and the loss of a good reputation. There are real risk that the malicious manipulation of critical infrastructure equipment could have devastating impact on the environment and even cause the loss of life. Supply chain as cybersecurity recognize no boundaries in our hyper-connected environment. You might be secure, but is your partner is secured? Organization need to guarantee its information has sufficient protections from cyber threat with three-stage process. Completing risk assessment, use a unique risk assessment reference, and complete supplier assurance questionnaire. It is vital to understand the cyber risk positions of parties along your supply chain. To achieve a high level of cybersecurity, you should develop a breach detection and response capability to minimize the damage that a cyber attack might cause. What is the difference between a crisis and an incident? A crisis is a badly managed incident. It's important to prepare to crisis. You must implement forensic and incident response into your ICS environment. You must have proactive detection in place. You must utilize logging. You must take devices off the internet. Please use network segmentation. Do you have an ICS incident response team in your organization? The solution is here, an automation process of defense methodology through a convenient and official technological platform generic forms, procedures ready to use by the organization. For example, corporate policy documents, cyber defense aspect, defense methodology, controls, procedures, and more. What can we learn from attacks on critical infrastructures? Network separation. Due to recent security incidents, there is a significant debate with regard to what is the best way to protect critical infrastructures. In the right circumstances, data diodes can provide credible option. But data diodes are not always the answer. Privilege accounts. Privilege accounts do really hold the keys to the kingdom. Every piece of technology is controlled by a privilege account. This is no different in operational environment. Whether an operator is accessing workstation, embedded device, or engineer deploying configurational update, or an external application connected to a vendor device, a privilege account is being used to control this environment. 
Example of three critical steps to stop APTs. Step one, enforce access controls to ensure that the only right user are able to access authorized credentials. Step two, prevent malware from spreading and control privileged credentials from even reaching end users or machines. Step three, monitor the use of privileged accounts. By implementing end-to-end -end lifecycle approach, privileged account management organization can strengthen security, comply with regulatory requirements, and stop advanced threats. When implementing security, there is a natural tendency to focus the majority of effort on the technological elements. Although imported, technology is insufficient on its own to provide robust protection. Defense in depth is vital to critical infrastructure. It is essential that people operate best practices. Operators of critical infrastructure need to do all they can to minimize the safety, environmental, compliance, and business continuity risk related to cyber attacks. This includes rapidly detecting, remediating system anomalies to minimize the impact of successful intrusion. You must have a new innovative cybersecurity solution. Conventional protection methods are not enough. You need to do quick wins and get support from management. It is necessary that the cyberspace be like a tap. The water is always flowing and not contaminated. Thank you very much.